Hello everyone, I am back and this time I am going to give you a video tour of the latest car I bought. C5 Corvette, silver, uh, six-speed manual. Um, it's in pretty good shape, got 53,000 miles on it. Um, unfortunate circumstance, the previous owner passed away, so his widow was selling it and I bought it. So, you can see overall it's a really nice shape. Of course, it has some of the Corvette quirks. One, it's missing an exhaust tip. I need to get that. Uh, the antenna is stuck up, which happens to these after a while. I have owned several of these, so I'm kind of familiar with the issues. Uh, nice thing is it has, looks like almost brand new tires um, all the way around. Um, it did get detailed before I got it, so it's in really good shape, clean. Some very minor scratches and such on it uh, but since we all know I'm going to rebody it it doesn't really matter but looks like there's a scratch there but <laughs> awfully good for a car this age some of the bad spots are it's worn right there uh, and the driver's seat needs help so it's actually really bad here and here, but I notice it's stretched right here, starting to go bad. Um, this area right here breaks on a lot of them. Luckily, this one is not broken. Uh, there's little covers that go on here and they just seem to fall apart all the time. Uh, the uh, armrest is characteristic right here for the vinyl to be pulling away from the armrest. Um, I did notice that as I get in here, um, right where the heater is, it happens to be right where the cup holder is, so maybe that's what caused it, but it wore off uh, some of the stuff there. And then a slight thing over there, but a marker will cover up the, the part that you through. It does have a cassette player, it's missing a knob. And even has one of the old cassettes that allows you to plug in a device into their earphone plug, assuming it still uses the old earphone plugs. Uh, kind of a blast from the past thing. Let's see what else. Uh, again, that uh, controller over there is still in good shape. Oh, the head <laughs> headrests uh, need help. Um, I'm sure that can't be too bad. This one, I tried to bend down and it doesn't want to bend and rather than break it, I thought I would look at it closer before I mess with it. Okay, let's see, hood. Let's go look under the hood. You know, I'm not a fan of silver for color, but wow, this thing does look nice. All right, get under here and we can see that Everything looks to be in good shape. Um, the advantage of picking these up, this is a second owner car, is obviously the first owner a lot of times takes really good care of it. And if the second owner is of like mind, you'll have a car like this that they just, they everything's stock, everything's original. They didn't change anything because um, they're not like me. <laughs> I buy these things to fix them up the way I want. They buy them to leave them like they came from the factory. So everything looks good under here. Uh, the orange car that I just sent off uh, to have the body modified, it rode and drove phenomenally. It had 100, I don't know, 113,000 miles, something on it like this. Uh, this one, obviously with 53,000 miles, uh, drives just as good, uh, if not better, although there was absolutely nothing wrong with the way that one rode and drove. Anyway, there it is. 
Um, I haven't decided what body I'm going to put on this one. Um, I'll leave that decision for when I make it. But anyway, just wanted to show you the way it started. Uh, it all started out really good. Let me see if I can open the trunk. That's another thing that's funny because so many cars I bought, the uh, trunk has been messed up. In this case, it was nice to see, oh, this is what one looked like brand new from the factory. So it has this flat section, the top folds down into here, and then it has these little cubby holes that you open up, and there's, oh, the license plate uh, cover uh, for when you don't have to have Texas, you have to have the front license plate. So they even have that from the original. Let's see what's under here. Oh, a 12-disc uh, CD changer. Again, all these things that are reminiscent of the way things were. And of course, being a 2005, or I'm sorry, whatever year this one is, I have to look and see. Um, it doesn't even have a uh, Bluetooth player. Oh, a uh, shade for the window. Um, as usual, these shocks are shot. By this time, it happens to all of them. When you hit the opening, it should pop up about an inch. When they start to go out, you hit the, the release and it either goes up very little or not at all. Yeah, this one goes up just a tiny bit, but then you have to get your finger in here to get it. But again, I don't think those things are very expensive. All right, what else? Oh, I was gonna see what year model this one has pretty bad when you don't even know what year model you are. Uh, oh, 10 to 99 manufacture date. So obviously it's a 2000. All right. That's all I can think of to show you, unless you think of anything else, uh, put it in the comments. Let me know, uh, like subscribe, hit that alert. And I'll let you know as soon as I do what I'm going to do with this thing. All right. Bye.